ESP32 P4 is quite new but it seems uh, like every week a new P4 board comes out. In this video I, I wanted to show you what these boards can do and how powerful they are. In this example P4 board is being used as a second display for my PC. Right now it is mirroring the primary monitor but I can also use it as extended monitor just like a projector. It is connected to PC using USB. This USB is used, used just for power and this one is transferring data for display and, and it not only show real time data from screen it also acts as input device and now my old PC has touch screen I can even draw in paint and that <laughs> that is not all sound is also coming from this board. So basically this ESP 32P4 second monitor is handling display, handling inputs and reproducing sounds. So, this is Waveshare Wi Fi 6 Touch LCD XC. And beside ESP32 P4, we also have ESP C6, which is used for Wi Fi and other protocols that P4 doesn't support. And it also comes with SD card so slot, real time clock chip camera connector, uh, dual microphones and more. For <laughs> full details you will need to check WebShare page because there is so many information about this board. What I like mo very much is that it comes with a lot of metal so it is very heavy and sturdy and this version and this version is 4 inch display version with resolution of 720 by 720 in this uh, video I will show you more P4 boards and some impressive sketches but this example was most impressive for me I don't think something like that would be possible on ESP32 S3. Because all these boards come with large high resolution screen. WaveShare already has a few P4 boards in their arsenal. And actually this is my first example I made using ESP IDEF plugin so this is not programmed in Arduino and it works very great this is elegant P486 panel because it go in that electrician 86 box and it can be it can look very nice on your wall control lights or something because they are two relays and Ethernet port very nice and <laughs> check out this huge 10 inch board I'm still working on playing with it, it came with this camera Raspberry Pi camera and this 
huge screen and speaker and, and everything is powered with this I think name of this board is P4 Nano but let me see can I no it is Y56 I'm not sure but you can check them on their site they are very fast and very impressive I also wanted to talk a bit about uploading those sketches for more complex projects you will need to use ESP IDF actually Visual Studio Code and ESP IDF extension I've noticed that most of, of advanced examples are made for IDF while Arduino examples are often simpler and more basic and I also noticed that the same example behaves differently when programmed in Arduino IDE compared to when it's done in Visual Studio Code with ESP IDE plugin. I'm not completely sure. Here we have also Square Line Studio. I'm not sure, but I think the for complex projects Visual Studio Code with ESP IDE is really the only way to go. For simple stuff I'll keep using the Arduino IDE since it is still my favorite but I decided that I need to start I need to learn IDE. It feels more professional but it is definitely more complicated also. For now I was only able to try uh, these factory examples and make simple UI using Swearline Studio. Running those sketches was not hard, but it will be interesting journey. So what about you? Are you ready to jump into P4? world or you will stick with older ESP32 versions personally I will definitely be using both have a nice day and have a great day and I will see you soon goodbye